Iol Trial Mountain uh, from Thursday afternoon. P11 start as you can see. Field of 15. I can't remember how this one finished, so both on it, or we're all on a discovery together. First set corner is always a bit of a rush on roulette. Picked up one spot. Somehow I got a half second penalty. I can only be probably a, a track shortcut, but it didn't look like it or feel like it at the time. Nice of the Japanese driver to bundle me out of the way himself in at the same time. Cars going everywhere. So after a couple of spots gained, we're back in P10. Sorry, 11. Lots of inappropriate touching in this race. Like, where did that guy come from, seriously? I think this is the guy who must be related to the maker of this game because his car would be behind you and in an unnatural order, his car would teleport back in front of you. Predominantly Japanese field. I'm the leading Aussie, followed by Chevelle. So, probably not going to show on the replay, it generally doesn't, but what you see out of your cockpit is the erraticness of these ones that, like this guy was hitting the wall, sparking. I'd be in front of him, then all of a sudden he'd be back in front of me. These two corners here are the ones I really struggle with. It's hard, I find it hard to get the car going out of that corner. shove me and I pick up another half second penalty. Wasn't very 
claim by me then either. Someone shouldn't be able to crash like that and be back in the same spot where they were. So there's obviously a glitch in his connection or the game somehow. Or well, like I said, he's got a relative that's giving the circuit code. I don't know whether it'll show on the last lap, but it was like he did the wall runner in this car trick. Chevelle's a fair way back in his Mercedes, I assume, that's what it sounds like. I'll we'll see whether you can pick up. The off-track adventures of this guy, it's probably not going to show. corner he was up against the rock wall there you go and look at that so very bizarre and now we'd be back in front of me Finished in P11. And quite a bizarre race. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.